You are listening to Slightly Warped, the podcast that tackles topics with a unique perspective. Here's your wild card, Richard Kearney, and your whimsical, Ryan Pulley. My makeup okay? <laughs> yes, your makeup looks great. Um, <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to another edition of the Slightly, if ever so much more Slightly, Warp Podcast. <laughs> I'm Rick. That's Big Show. Show, how are you? I'm good, brother. I'm good. How about yourself? I'm, I'm good, too. Uh, your weekend go okay? Start to the week going off all right? So far, so good. Can't complain. If I did, nobody would listen anyway. Oh, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Um, but I would like to take a moment before we get started to welcome our 20 plus new subscribers that just joined over the week. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Hope you like it. Tell your friends. Yes, thank you. Uh, piggybacking off of that. I know you guys will like it. If you don't, Listen anyway, it helps us out. <laughs> so basically, for those of you who don't know, the Slightly Work podcast, we're growing ever so much. We're growing and uh, we talk about anything and everything and we give our own work takes on what's going on in the world. Uh, yes, sir. We talk a lot of music, movies, entertainment, sports. There's no topic really off limits. We don't as much get into politics because, you know, that's such a downer. You know, if there's a senator going to jail, though, we'll talk about them. Like a dog. I know that's right. Hey, before we get started on today's topics, I want to go over a few things in the news. You know, just some interesting things that uh, I happen to see and I want to comment on. Uh, first in the news, a newly restored house in Pompeii offers a glimpse of the elite life back then. Now, I don't know about you, brother, but uh, how elite <laughs> is it that you can uh, have a front row seat to all those mountains and see all that lava and volcanic ash crashing down on you? That's not well, elite it, to me. If it's still there, it had to have been really nice to make it through what it went through. 20 years of renovations, they said on that. Wow. Yeah. All right. I just rather out, see though. pictures. Yeah. The uh, best job in America pays over $120,000 a year, offers low stress, healthy work-life balance, and it's also in high demand. And it is welfare. One woman <laughs> quoted as saying, all I have to do is walk to my mailbox every Friday collect my check why on earth would i go get a real job see how they do us welfare oh. all right they, i know you're going to get if you don't have nothing thing. nice to say don't say nothing at all <laughs> i know you're going to get a kick out of this one bro um are you familiar with the feud that scotty pippen and michael jordan have had uh since the last dance cuz scotty felt disrespected like he should mean more he felt that he no. was just as good as Mike. <laughs> yeah, that made uh, me laugh too. Now, you know, Scotty had a, got a divorce from uh, a one Larsa Pippen from the Real Housewives or whatever basketball yep, housewives. I, did hear I don't about know. that. Mm -hmm. She was seen in public kissing none other than Marcus Jordan right after she said they were oh. just friends. Now, if you're familiar, Marcus is Michael's son. So you know the goat is at home laughing his ass off right now. Although that kiss right there doesn't look like it's a reciprocated kiss. It looks like he was caught off guard. Trust me, any man that gets kissed, whether he's caught off guard or not, he appreciates it. <laughs> okay, tell that to the guys in prison. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jennifer Aniston turned 53. I didn't oh realize she Lord. was older than me. 
she took off her makeup and shows her fans her ageless appearance at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> That's dirty. Okay. Lakers former <laughs> athletic trainer uh, Gary Vitti said, if you actually look at Kobe Bryant, there's nothing really special about him. But he followed up by saying, except for the fact that he got off his ass and he put in the work and didn't complain when things got tough and was motivated to see his dreams come true. That last part needs to be double quoted for some of these lazy ass people out there. Yes. And his competitive streak was off the charts. Yes, it was. Matched by none other than the previous mentioned GOAT. Um, from the GOAT, capital G, capital O, capital A, capital T, to the little G, GOAT. Skip Bayless. He called John Brown, who's age 32, a kid who looks like he's going to be a star at some point. I call Skip Bayless a crazy old man who sounds like he may be out of a job at some point. Now you're speaking of John Brown, the wide receiver for Buffalo, correct? Yes, I am. Yeah. He, he didn't know any better. John Brown's been on practice squad after practice squad. He just probably didn't know who he was. I give him the benefit of the doubt because nobody knew who John Brown was before that game. That that may be true. That may be true. But he might, I doubt if he'll be out of a job. He's too much of a, ratings producer you know i think he gets paid just to be an asshole that that is also true that that's my that business yeah yeah can i, I get, get a that. check hey as soon as we start making money i promise i'll give you your two percent <laughs> hey two percent better than <laughs> what i'm making now selma hayek taps into her adventurous side while jumping on a giant trampoline now selma hmm. if you feel the need to bounce Man, look at the set of them earrings, man. Those are pretty. Okay, I, I can't even. I'm going to get in trouble. New York Jets. This quarterback, what's his name? Zach Wilson. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he played pretty bad this year. Mm -hmm. Zach said that if the Jets add a veteran quarterback, he vows to make practice a hell for that dude, whoever that dude may be. Now, I don't know about you, but I've seen Zach Wilson play. <clears throat> and the only way he'll do that is to play way better than he did during the past. And if he doesn't, practice is going to be hell for him, or he might be out of a job. Yeah, I think what made the whole Cougar thing went to his head. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it did. So, I mean, he played okay at the beginning part of the year, but they caught, you know, defense has caught up to him. And then that one, was it Mike White that came in after him? Yeah, Mike White balled out for a game and a half. For a couple weeks, you know, and then yeah. it was back to Jets. I mean, White's jetting, defense, so. he got hurt. So, you know. But, yeah, um, dude, win something before you talk smack. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger has a great tip for how to start the day. Wake up, get off your ass, and go get shit done. Great tip. There you go. Now, a lot can be said about the governor, but I will say this. Arnold made something out of himself. Again. Zach, get to if the you're chakra. listening. Ow. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. Enough with this news stuff. <sighs> okay, did you did you see the story that I sent you on Gabrielle Union? I did. All right. When I first read it, you know, just the headline, Gabrielle Union said she felt okay with cheating because she paid the bills. As soon as that final word came out, I had lost a lot of respect for her. Then I read the article. Doesn't mean there's too much more gained respect, 
but uh, I won't go too much into the article, but basically her and her former husband, they were not compatible in any way, shape or form. And they felt like if they weren't getting any attention at home, they were OK. Both of them were OK with getting that attention outside of the home. Um, before I get too deep into it, I, I want to know your thoughts. And if I'm not mistaken, it took a counselor of telling them you might as well just divorce because you're in a toxic relationship. Yes. Basically. Mm -hmm. um, my thoughts on it are I didn't care before you sent it to me and I really don't care now. I mean, honestly, um, to each his own. I mean, they were both young. It kind of seemed like it was a mutual thing. Um, he was a football player. I don't think. I don't know the name by when I read it, so he wasn't like a star NFL player. Um, she was making movies, and if that was their agreement, and if that's how she felt, and he didn't, you know, be the alpha male in the relationship that she needed, then it is what it is. And, and that's one of the things, once I read it, that was their agreement. So it wasn't like they were behind each other's back. You know, that was the agreed upon thing. And it struck me as odd because I felt that it wasn't an attention thing. To me, it was a immaturity thing. Yeah. And, you know, she was, she, I'm sure she was young back then, just kind of thinking. I mean, if we read in 10 years that she was doing the same shit to Dwayne Wade, because then she married to him right now. Yes, she is. She, you know, doing the same thing. We know that it was, she's just a toxic female, but. And I don't see that. I think she was in a bad relationship. They had an agreement. They amicably split. She found love. She seems happy. God bless them. Let's keep it pushing. I, I agree. Uh, and I do believe that she she's in a much better place now. Or at least, hell, I hope she is. Uh, the girl can act her butt off. She still looks damn good. Work it, girl. That's all I'm gonna say. Just I mean, don't be not, stupid. She, don't be stupid. She's not gonna win any Oscars. Yeah, you never know. You know, something might come down the road to script. You know, you said I, that she can. You said she can act real good. Give me a movie where she acted really good. Oh, see, now you put me on the spot, man. I'm That's losing my, my point, movie if, guy reputation. But all if right. I said, give me a movie that Denzel acted well you could probably name two or three i could probably name if five I or said, six yeah you're right well, i'm just saying if if i said will smith you could name a couple if i said oprah winfrey you could even name a couple yeah where is where's gabby at let me see if i can find something on I mean, imdb what? she played a great cheerleader and bring it on oh i wasn't even thinking about that you can well, have that, that was, movie <laughs> that's wow just a, that's when she was super young let me just she look was at in her bad boys. She was in bad boys. Bad boys too. too I, yeah. I mean, but did she, was she a good actress? Was it just a good movie because of everybody that was in it? I mean, I'm not saying she's a bad actress, but she's not Bro, great. I, I got to side with you on this because I'm reading her filmography and there's nothing that jumps out at me and says, damn, that was a good movie. Right. Damn. She's um, just she she's just she's eye candy. That's you know that's what she portrays in movies. So I'm about ten years back and I don't see anything that jumps out at me. Wow. Okay. I am done looking up Gabby movies today. Um. Still, she might she might surprise us and do something in the next five ten years. You never know. But yeah, you're right. And she I might not have bad. a dunk a basketball. She so, made me look go. bad. <laughs> no. Nah, depends on how tall the goal is, brother. <laughs> exactly. Um, no, nah, she didn't make you look bad. She just, you know, nah. actresses like her are a dime a dozen in the film age. She's not not saying she's bad at what she does. She no, just isn't. She's just she's writing them. She is the Derek Carr of actresses. Oh, right in the that, middle. That that's that's below the belt. That's below the belt right there. And 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 here I am. 
I'm here to talk to you about one of our favorite subjects, the National Football League. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, first, let me just get it off my chest. Congratulations to you and your Kansas City Chefs uh, winning the AFC West again. And uh, how many years in a row is that? I believe it's seven. Very good. Very good. I, I'm not going to downplay it now. I, I'll give y'all there's, y'all's props. Anytime y'all only, do something, I'll give y'all y'all's props. There's only one team that's done it longer. What is Who's that? The Patriots? Patriots. Mm-hmm. They won their division 11 straight years. Wow. 11. Was Think about that. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Um, hey, before we go into the to the playoffs here, I just want to real quickly, uh, can we talk about the coaches that were fired real quick? Uh, yeah. Uh, you might have to refresh my memory on everyone who well, was fired. Um, all I heard was Levy Smith and then Cliff Kingsbury. Yeah. Um, That's all I heard so far. I'm trying to think but i just wanted to drop this little nugget that i read that i read about the cardinals they've mm-hmm. been around what a hundred years hundred seasons roughly you know yeah. back in when they, they were, were one, of the OGs. one of the originals yeah. yeah they have not had a head coach last longer than six years in their franchise total history isn't that amazing are you serious? Yes. Mm-hmm. Never. No coach has lasted longer than six years. And that's in that deal. And then you now, look by at the contrast, Steelers. I was getting ready to say the Steelers have only who's had, had three, three coaches since coaches the 70s. Ever. No, 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 no. That's not true. That's inaccurate. Three coaches since the 70s. In the last 50 some odd years. Because they were one of the OGs as well. Were they? Okay, so they, mm. they would go beyond yeah. the 70s, but still. I mean, but, but since they, Chuck Noll. Chuck Noll ran forever. Cowher yeah. ran forever. And, and, and now, now Tomlin. Tomlin is going to run seemingly forever. And and, and to, to put it in better perspective, even though he didn't make the playoffs, Tomlin again finished above 500. He has never finished a season below 500. And I think his total is 16 years. Isn't it 16 years as a head coach? Mm -hmm. He's got the second longest tenure right now behind Belichick. That's amazing. That's awesome. So you go 16 years and never have a losing season. Nope. That man, he can eat for free anywhere in that city. And if I was a Steelers fan right now, I would not be upset that we missed the playoffs at all. Because they're going to springboard this just like the Detroit Lions. They're going to springboard their success this year into next year. They are, yeah. But I just wanted I, to throw it out there. I thought that little Arizona Cardinal thing was was a pretty neat little stat. It, it, which it kind is. of explains why they always suck. Yeah, so um, it looks like the Carolina Panthers uh, need a head coach, too. Don't know who well, they fired. Well, they fired their coach in the middle of the year like the Colts. I wasn't really counting them. We already knew they needed coaches. Yeah, just like the uh, Broncos. Yeah, the Indianapolis Colts need one too, but oh, I yeah. think they're, they're going to keep their interim. Uh they might. I mean, they have to still do the Rooney Rule thing, but they can't just hire him until they do that. But they might keep him. Now, there are rumors. I hope so. I hope there so. are that rumors means- that uh, Miami may or may not keep their head coach. Oh, they'll keep him. They made the playoffs. They'll keep him. His first year, they'll keep him. Especially next year when they get Tom Brady and they hoist the Lombardi Trophy next year. Hey, if you if you if you gotta you know buy a trophy, I I can't be mad at you. That's what the Rams did, and the Bucks before them. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, I'd say yeah. that. I mean. Listen, I'm I'm gonna say it, and and if you're a Raider fan out there and you're listening, you can weigh in on this as well. I don't like the idea if they were to get Brady, but if they were to start winning again, winning cures everything. 
I might I might forget about the tuck rule game from 20 years ago um for a little bit, but it's it's gonna sting at the beginning. <laughs> nah, not if he immediately starts winning, but he's not going to the Raiders. No, you don't. I, you do not have to worry about that. I, I don't think so. I, 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 I agree with you that although they say the Raiders is a front runner, he's he's got that involvement with Miami. I think he wants to stay in Florida, and, and by staying also, in Florida, he can stick it to the Buccaneers again, and um, still enjoy and, some of that Miami life playing Miami, he's going to face New England twice a year. Yeah, So that's part of it. And also, uh-huh. I'm pretty sure he does not want to play Mahomes twice a year. Yeah, I don't care if he's on whatever team. That's 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 you. You're facing two L's every year. I mean, no, because they they've split. They're they're completely 500 against each other. The only um, difference is, is, uh, is Brady's won to... the bigger games. He's won <clears throat> the championship games, the Super Bowls against Mahomes. Yeah. But if I was Tom Brady and I had a choice to stick it to my team twice a year, that's that's why I really think he's going there. You know, and plus they're loaded. He's got weapons, they've got an offensive line, they have a defense. Yeah, I mean, from that standpoint, they are a quarterback away from having a great team. Most definitely. Yeah, and if you look at Vegas, they are a quarterback away from having a great offense, period, because that defense sucks. And Derek Carr never had a defense go ranked above 30th since he's been there. So if Tom Brady is going to have a even halfway decent defense – they would have to put every dollar and draft pick that they have into the defense, and that's not going to happen. So did the Raiders, did when they signed McDaniels, did they hire a new defensive coordinator? Yes, he brought his whole staff. He handpicked his whole staff. It wasn't anybody that was held over from Rich Basaccia's team the year before. What were they ranked last year? 28th or 9th, I can't remember. It wasn't high. Is that overall? Like, were they good against the pass and not the run? Or it, it was overall the they were the they, they were good against the uh, run, but they over the last I'll say five six years historically have sucked against the pass. They they don't have corners or safeties, not good ones anyway. I mean, we haven't had a good cornerback since Charles Woodson was a cornerback, and we haven't had a good safety since Charles Wilson came back and played safety. So what does that tell you? So is it the players or the scheme? I am going to say a bit of both. Or make sure both. Yeah, because they've had too many – because we've had six coaching regimes in the last 10 years, you can't tell me all six defensive coordinators were bad. So – some of it had to be the schemes and the players that they had to work with. And how are they? See, they're drafting seventh Seventh. overall. Yeah. Did, are, are, did they lose any draft picks? Um, no, the one they lost was last year in the draft, uh, because of a trade that they made for somebody or something. What about the trade for Devante? Didn't they, aren't there some draft picks involved there? Um, I'd have to research that, but even if there, even if there was, they need to be focused on corner, corner safety. Then you can do whatever the heck you want. No, I mean, do they have the draft capital to focus on corner, corner safety is what I'm asking. Once they let car go, it's not a problem. No draft capital, not money. Oh, actual draft capital. Do they have the draft picks to do so? Because did they gain some from Green Bay? I'd have to look at the whole thing. They, I mean, well, I mean, no, they would have lost. They would have lost some from Green Bay. I know they've got that seventh pick for sure. So they can get somebody. I don't know yeah. how many others you have. Uh, I'm going to look that up real quick. 
Okay, I appreciate that. Um, whilst you do that, I just want to close out the AFC West by saying congratulations to you, sir. And your prediction for the Denver Broncos winning a total of five games because On the nose, they won baby. five games. Yes. Yeah, when, when they took the lead on the Chargers, I'm like, Big Show's got to be at home smiling. I was cheesing from ear to ear. I ain't going to lie. I thought that was great. Okay. Okay, so any of the draft was in this last draft, so you guys are good. Because it looked like in the 20. 22 draft you guys gave up your first and second rounder for him which is number 22 and number 53 overall so that probably is a reason also why defense kind of took a back a back step this year because you didn't have your first two rounds and your picks well they Here's came fun on at the end of last year but the thing is they had a different no i meant this year. this this year because you didn't have two draft picks to yeah bring more dogs into the hunt there yeah uh but fun tidbit the chicago bears are number one they're you know the draft is going to be in kansas city this coming year so we want to thank them again for not drafting patrick mahomes the bears are who we thought they were <sighs> oh all right let's get let's get to it uh, playoffs don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Yes, Jim, playoffs. Kansas City and Philadelphia are the number one seeds. So we won't be seeing those two teams this weekend. They'll be resting and figuring out how they're going to meet each other in the Super Bowl, which blows my Buffalo. Who did I say? Buffalo, Tampa. I think that's what I had. You did yeah. say Buffalo, Tampa, which still is a possibility technically right now. More of a possibility for Buffalo, but I, Tampa's garbage. Um, they got the GOAT. You never know. Now, they play Dallas this weekend. That's the 4-5 or five matchup. Never have I seen a more incompetent team in Dallas. One week, they look like they can destroy anybody. The next minute, they look like garbage. Speaking of garbage, the number four team is the Buccaneers. They limp their way to a division title. This one is the hardest pick of the weekend. But surprising, I'm going to go with Tampa. It's going to be defense and a low-scoring game. You know, Tom Brady's never lost to the Dallas Cowboys. He's well, you know, he never lost to them. the Atlanta Falcons until Sunday. I mean, he's undefeated against them in his entire career. Um, I'm going Cowboys. They're going to pull it out. Mm, okay. <clears throat> what about that 5-6 matchup? Minnesota against the Giants? I mean, I'm going Minnesota. They're they're offensively stacked. I like, I mean, I would like to see the Giants pull this off. Um, but yeah, I'm Minnesota. I think I called that the 5-6 matchup. It's 3-6. Three, three, Minnesota's yeah. ranked number three. Here's the game that I think is going to be a just straight throttle. The 2 7 matchup. San Francisco is going to destroy the Seattle Seahawks. It's not even going to be close. I'm going to disagree with you. It's not going to be a blowout. These guys have already played each other twice. They're division rivals, they know each other forwards and backwards, up and down. It'll be a closer game than most people think. However, San Francisco will win. Hmm. Okay. All right. So now we got a second difference of opinion. Let's hop over to the AFC side. Um, that four or five matchup, Jacksonville against the Chargers. That's gonna be fun. I never thought I would see the day where I'm saying Jacksonville playoffs, Jacksonville win, but I'm saying it here. Um, it's going to be a high-scoring game, but I think Jacksonville is just going to let loose and have fun. Why do you why why do you think it's going to be a high-scoring game? I think both of these teams find ways to score, especially when they need to. 
And now, now you know Bosa's out, and Mike Williams is out right now for the Chargers. Well, then their wide receiver. A, then it's going to be a high-scoring Jacksonville game. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't necessarily see it. I I think it's going to be a very well played football game. But hell, I thought last night's championship game was going to be close and <laughs> got that wrong. Yeah, uh, that didn't go too well for TCU. You know, the potential of whoever wins this game is going to be who we play next week. So if I, I'm just basically, who would I rather play? Jacksonville. I'd rather play Jacksonville versus, yeah. versus. You don't want to play Chargers. a division rival who has already um, gotten spanked by But I'm not twice. worried. No, they haven't. They didn't get spanked by us. We won by three points both games. Uh, you did, but you. To we weren't me, spanked. you still won. You still won big in my eyes. I don't look at it by a point spread. I look at it as seeing everything across the field as what you do to them. And and I think Andy was holding back. I really But they do. did just as much to us. So I mean that's where I look at it. We San Diego or Los Angeles is a bad matchup for the Chiefs. They just match up well against us. Uh and every time we play them historically it's a close game anyway. I would much rather play the Jaguars. Either way, it's gonna, no matter who we play moving forward, it's going to be a tough matchup. Uh, but I'm going to pick Jacksonville in a uh, barn burner of a football game. It's going to be very well competitive. Not necessarily 35-32, but, you know, I can see a 23-28 type of game. I can see that. Now, in the uh, 6-3 matchup, the Bengals are hosting the Ravens who they just played last week, and I think it's going to be the same outcome. I don't think the Ravens have the horses to keep up with the Bengals. It's another divisional game. Third time you've played them. I believe they've split this year. I believe Baltimore won the first matchup and Cincinnati won the second one. Is uh, Lamar going to play? Don't know if Lamar plays. It might be a little bit tougher game for Cincinnati. True, uh, true. Lamar is a huge factor. Joe Burrow is a beast. You know, I, I got to give him his props. So I'll, I'll pick Burrow and the Bengals to move on. All right, that uh, two seven matchup. My Muffle. goodness, my goodness. Here we go. You talk about division rivals. This game scares me more than any game on this board. Why? On, on paper, you think Buffalo should just route these guys, but you, you just even though they've had a down second half of the season, Miami is that team that at any given moment could explode with points. No, I went out to a. Now he's not playing Sunday. I mean Saturday. Nah, he still hasn't cleared the concussion thing. He ain't going to play again this year. Mm, okay. That does change things then. So that... they, they think they think Teddy Bridgewater, Teddy Two Gloves, is going to play. He's going to throw with that um, broken finger, huh? They're going to try. If not, they got Skylar Thompson. And, yeah, Skylar was able to beat the – who did they play? The Jets this yeah. last week? Mm-hmm. I mean, he was able to squeak that one out. At, what was it, 11 and 9? That was you horrible. Know, I thought I saw a baseball uh, score there. And, you know, as much as I hate to talk about conspiracy theories in the NFL, but God is shining down on Buffalo. Yeah. You know, with with him using DeMar's issue to, to actually bring his presence nationwide and worldwide, as a believer, that is a phenomenal thing to see. Um. But, you know, I think just Lady Luck, whatever, the God, football gods, they're smiling down on Buffalo. Buffalo will be the team to beat in the AFC. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting because we get to come back next week and see how well our picks were. Woo. So we agreed on all of them except for the Dallas Buccaneer game, right? Yes. We certainly did. So, you know. You got Bucks. I got the Cowboys. And that's Monday night. So we'll be able to talk about it fresh next week. 
We'll, we, we will definitely see for sure. Well, show it's been another good one. I, I can't wait to do this again. And yeah. And you know what the best thing about next week is? There's no Raider game Sunday, so you can't drill me. I'll, I'll find some. My season's over. <laughs> All right, everybody. Like, share, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. We got much love for you guys, especially new subscribers. Show, take us on out of here. Thank you, everybody. God bless. Love each other. See you next week. All right. Y'all take care.